Fazio, you're the man Bo Hao. We're going to uh, look at a couple of pins from a basic wrist lock. The purpose of this uh, particular tutorial is not going to be to teach the wrist lock. I'm assuming you have that foundation, but uh, it's not always easy to find the follow-up techniques from that technique. And so that's what we're going to focus on today. And I'm going to show you guys a few of my favorites. Okay, again, in general, whenever we're locking a joint, a lot of times it's helpful not on all techniques, but there are quite a few. This is one of them where it helps to extend a little bit, pull a little bit before we start to bend the joint and press. It causes a lot more pain throughout the wrist. The second one. We go a little bit faster. Just to grab the elbow here, if you get a good rotation and he falls in the right place, lift, drag, and turn. So we keep a real tight lock. We lock it into the thigh, and then if we need to, we press toward the knuckles straight down, okay? And that's a good bit of pressure on both the wrist and the shoulder. And the last one includes more of a lever where we step deep, rotate him across, lock that in the same way, and go back to our basic arm bar pin. Okay, there are a few pins following the basic wrist lock. Have fun with them.